Hello and welcome everyone to another Power BI video. I'm Sumit from Nice Software Solutions and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create transformation measures. For this video, I'm using a data set that contains a couple of tables. The first table is a lookup city table that contains a list of cities with the ID and the name columns. And the other one is my fact table where I've got a date column which is very important. Please remember, without the day or the date level in your fact table, you won't be able to do any time transformation calculations. So I've got that here. And then I also have the city ID followed by the factual columns. I want to create the last year's revenue measure and then compare the values of that measure with the normal revenue measure. Now, to create the normal revenue measure, it's pretty simple. I can just sum up the total dollar sales column and I can get there. However, the last year's calculation has a prerequisite that needs to be satisfied. The prerequisite is to create a date table first that can support your time transformation calculations. So to create the date table, let's go to the home menu, click on new table, and in the function bar, let's type the calendar function. Now the calendar function needs a start and end date range. So instead of using fixed dates, I'm gonna use the min and max functions on the fact table's date column and define the date range using it. So I hit enter and execute the function and the system creates this table with one column that has all the dates between the defined date range. Let me change the data type to date because I don't need to see the time. Now, if you want to see other levels of the time hierarchy in this table, like the year, quarter and month, you need to use the add columns function as well. So let's add year, month and quarter columns in this table using the add columns function and the format function as the inner function. My date table looks pretty good now. The next thing I want to do is to create a relationship between the fact table and the date table using the common date column. So navigate to the model view and map the date column of the date table with the day date column of the fact table. This creates a nice one to many relationship between these tables. Let's go back to the data view now and then start creating our measures. First, I'm going to create a normal revenue measure by applying the sum function on the total dollar sales column. And finally, I'm going to create the last year's revenue measure. To create this measure, I'm going to use a calculate function that does an aggregation with a filter condition. So my aggregation expression is going to be sum of total dollar sales column. And in the filter condition, I'm going to use the previous year function. You get a lot of other transformation functions as well in Power BI, like previous month, quarter, or day. And this time I'm going to use the previous year function and point it to the date column of my date table. And that's it. So let's quickly create a grid visual and see how the values look like. I'll go to the report view, pick a simple table visual and throw in the year from the date table. And let me increase the text size a little bit so that it gets clearly visible. So I'll push it up to 16 points. Okay. Now let me take the revenue and last year's revenue measures from the fact table and put it in the visual as well. And as you can see now, the normal revenue for 2014 is appearing under the last year's revenue for 2015 and so on. So I know the aggregation is happening perfectly. Now generally when you talk about time transformation measures, it's pretty common to create a growth measure as well. And as you can guess, creating that would be pretty simple now. So let's do that as well. I'll go back to the data view and click on the home menu and then click on new measure. So it's a growth percentage measure and the calculation would be the difference of normal measure and last year's measure. And I'm going to divide it with the normal measure as well. I'll quickly give it a percentage formatting as well. And then let's go back to the report and throw it into the visual and see what it does. And there you go. You can see the growth percentage for each year now. So this is how you can create a time transformation measure in Power BI using the date table and other related functions. For any further queries, please reach out to us on the contact details flashing on your screen right now. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.